Hello, dear students. Today uh, we are discussing the quick solutions All India Caster Series Medical 2020 OYM carried forward test 03 and code A and B. The physics test, the test was held on 8th of November 2020. We'll discuss all the 45 questions and let's go quickly to question number 1. The first question says that the electrical current flowing in a circuit is given by equation I is equal to 2T divided by 3 tau ampere for some time. The RMS value of the current for the period T is equal to 0 to T is equal to tau is these are four options. Now dear students to find the RMS value we should remember the formula and your formula that I RMS square is equal to I square dt limits of the time divided by the total time. Now the value of I is given so we will fill up the values 0 to tau and I is equal to 2t upon 3 tau square into dt whole divided by tau. Right? So, we will take the common outside that is equal to 2 by 3 tau square into 1 by tau and remaining is t square into dt. What the limit from 0 to tau? Now, integrate this become 4 by 9 tau square and this is tau cube and your integration t square is t square this one that is t cube by 3 and the limits are from 0 to tau. Therefore, this become 4 by 9 tau cube into tau cube and putting the values divided by 3 this become 4 by 27 and this cancel with this. So, I RMS value is equal to root of this one that is 4 by 27 the whole root and this become equal to 2 divided by 3 root 3 and the answer is in ampere. So, let us look the options. The option 3 is 2 by 3 root 3. So, the answer to this question is option number 3. Right. Let us move to the next problem. The question number second says that an alternating current having the peak value of 1.4 ampere is used to heat a metal wire. To produce the same heating effect in the same metal wire, a constant current can be used. Where this constant current I is nearly 1.4 ampere, 0.2 ampere, 0.7 ampere and last option is 1 ampere. Now dear students, it is given that the peak value of alternating current, so I naught is given equal to 1.4 ampere. Now, by the definition of RMS value, whenever you have to go for heating, then its effective value is called RMS value or the virtual value and that becomes equal to 1.4 divided by root 2. So, that is equal to 1.4 multiply by 0 0.707 that is 1 ampere. That means the effective value of 1.4 ampere AC is equivalent to 1 ampere a constant current and the answer should be 1 ampere and the fourth option is 1 ampere therefore answer to this question is option number 4. Let us move to the third question. The question number 3 says that primary and secondary coil of an ideal transformer has 104,000 turns respectively. The magnetic flux linked with the primary coil is given by phi equal to 20 T plus 20. The output voltage across the secondary coil. All quantities are in SI units and these are the four options. Now what is given? It is given that number of turns of the primary that is equal to 100. The number of turns of the secondary that is equal to 4000. Right? Now we know in case of transformer that number of turns of secondary to the number of turns of primary is voltage across the secondary to voltage across the primary. 
Now, how to find the voltage across the primary? Then from Faraday's law, E primary will be equal to the flux changing with the respect to time. And this dt of phi and phi's flux is given equal to 20t plus 20. So that becomes equal to 20. So it is an ideal. So your voltage of the primary is equal to 20 volt. If it is 20 volt, I'll fill up here. This is 4000 and this was equal to 100 and voltage across the secondary is required and voltage across the primary is 20 so vs is equal to 20 multiplied by 40 this would be 800 volt and the first option is 800 volt therefore the answer to this question is option number one let's move to the fourth problem the question number four says that for series lcr circuit the quality factor at resonance will be the symbols have their usual meanings these are the four options and dear student we know that the quality factor is equal to the resonance frequency divided by the bandwidth so that can be written as the resonance frequency upon the bandwidth and in calculation we know that bandwidth was equal to r by l so this become that quality factor is omega r l by r so this the first option is omega r l by r but let's look to second and third option also we know that omega into l is equal to 1 upon omega into c at resonance so we can replace this also then the quality factor become equal to 1 upon, I am replacing this, is equal to omega resonance into C R. The second option is also the two option and also omega R is equal to 1 upon LC root. If you fill this value here, omega R, therefore the quality factor also become equal to 1 by R into L by C ka root. Therefore, all the three options are correct. And the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Right? Let's go to the question number 5. In an alternating series circuit, the current is 100 sin of 100 T ampere and the voltage is V equal to 100 sin of 100 T plus pi by 6 voltage. The average power dissipated in the circuit is, and yes, so these are the four options. And look, the current is given and what is the maximum value of the current? This is 100 ampere. What is the maximum value? Is the maximum voltage is equal to 100 volt. And what is the phase angle? If you take the phase angle, then we phase this phase minus this phase, the phase angle is equal to pi by 6, right? And what is the power consumption? This is equal to this VRMS, IRMS, and the cos of phi. Now, what is VRMS? 100 divided by root 2. Now, what is IRMS? 100 divided by root 2. And what is cos phi? Phi is pi by 6. So, this becomes 100 into 100, 2 and root 3 by 2. So, this becomes equal to 10,000 by 4, 2500. So, 2500 and along with the root 3. That is the power consumption of the circuit. The answer to this question is option number two. Let's move to the next problem. 